Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a little bit more of an informal take here. I'm sitting on my couch in my favorite spot in my house and we're gonna talk about Kindle Unlimited and the new Kindle Paperwhite that my boyfriend and I got. We are very big Kindle readers and this is what often happens in our relationship. We have one, well, we had one Kindle before we got this and it was always, can I use the Kindle? No, I'm using the Kindle right now. It, it was just constant back and forth, back and forth and we were just like, why don't we just get another Kindle? So we did. It was great because we literally, we just bought it yesterday and it arrived this morning and it was pretty awesome. So when we got the Kindle, we also got a deal with Kindle Unlimited, which pretty psyched about because I feel like everyone uses Kindle Unlimited on booktube and I have not entered into that world yet. I know there's a lot of romance on there, which I'm not the biggest romance reader myself. So I was like, eh, I feel like I didn't need it, but we got a deal with the Kindle Paperwhite. So I was like, okay, let's just do it. Also, my boyfriend has an entire series that he's reading, which is on Kindle Unlimited. So that's a plus too. It's not romance, by the way. I feel like that would be pretty awesome if he did read that. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to kind of do like a little Kindle Paperwhite tour and m maybe like a little bit comparison contrast with the other Kindle that we have. I thought it would be kind of fun. And then also I wanted to just give you a little like Kindle unlimited TBR. I downloaded maybe like five or six books on here that I'm excited to read and have actually been wanting to read for a while. So I was like, okay, why don't I recommend some? Because that would be nice. Also the Kindle unlimited library is massive. I spent hours scrolling on it last night trying to find books that I love and let me tell you I mean if you're a romance reader that is the place for you there is so much romance on there it's insane also a lot of really bad looking romance I mean I was scrolling and I think I found one called daddy's girl and a surprise pregnancy romance and I'm like what I apologize if you enjoy um, surprise pregnancy romances. That is not my genre, okay? That is not the niche I wanna be in on booktube. Before we get into it, I just wanna say everything I'm gonna talk about is going to be linked in the description. I feel like I'm always so bad about saying that, but I'm going to be linking the Kindle. I'm going to be linking Kindle Unlimited. I'm gonna be linking the books. Everything that you want, is down there, okay? So check that out. This is the Kindle that we had previously. I have no idea what edition this is. It will be in the description, okay? Don't mind our nasty cover. I need to get a new one for this. In just first glance, the Kindle Paperwhite is a lot bigger and it isn't as handheld friendly as this previous one. Like this one, I can easily fit into the palm of my hand. This one is more of, it's not a palm of the hand, it's more of a grab it kind of deal, you know? Other than that, I mean, okay, so screen wise, I feel like it's pretty comparable. I know this, the paper white one, has a backlight, which is kind of nice. And also it just kind of feels like it's a little bit more of a seamless transition. So here, if you can see, there's no like kind of border from the Kindle to the screen, kind of like an iPhone, you know, like your iPhone is just one seamless screen. Here there is a border between I don't know if you can see, there you can see. It's kind of like there's a border between the plastic here and then the screen. Not a big deal, but definitely you can tell this is a little bit more updated. I mean, obviously as a user experience thus far, it, I haven't gotten to play around, around with it a ton because we literally just got it. I just kind of looked up like quick little reviews as to the difference between these two. So this one, the, the regular Kindle that we have like has less pixels. So the graphics, they were saying like, if you're reading comics, it'll be more difficult to read comics on here and it might not have as good of graphics as the Kindle Paperwhite. But if you're just reading words, uh, I don't think that matters. At least personally to me, that doesn't matter a whole lot. Uh, words in one pixel is probably gonna be the same in the other pixel. So this is gonna be a little bit more high quality in terms of that. Um, and then obviously the price point. This one, we got the deal for this one for 74 Five dollars, I think, and originally it's a hundred dollars. And this one, I think you can get at for like fifty-four, sixty dollars, which is very, very reasonable. So I guess it depends on what you think you want in terms of quality. I mean. Personally, I really like being able to just kind of like grip it with my hand like this, um, but I'm sure as I'm reading with this one, it's gonna be a really nice reading experience too. But I don't think that there's a huge difference between these two um, for the price. Like this one is literally half the price of this and like unless it, graphics really matter to you, then maybe get this one, but that's pretty much it. So, okay, that was my quick little review and contrast comparison. Next, let's talk about my Kindle Unlimited library because I'm kind of excited about this. The reason that I chose to get Kindle Unlimited is because my boyfriend is currently in the middle of reading the Cradle series, which is like, it is a fantasy series. There are 10 books in the series, a series by Will Wright. There's currently 10 books and there are going to be more. Basically, my boyfriend described this. He had a very, very hard time describing this because apparently there are a lot of spoilers but it's about a man who starts off with like a lower level of magic and continues to level up in his magic throughout the series. He is currently on the seventh book. 
He says it's very, very good. He said it's a lot easier to read than Wheel of Time. Um, and it's just a really accessible fantasy series for someone who's looking to get into more epic or high fantasy. So if you're interested in getting into epic or high fantasy and interested in learning more about series and stuff like that in that kind of genre, definitely would recommend. I've never read it before, but he said he would recommend reading that if you are interested in reading Wheel of Time. So I don't know why it's really not talked about more on booktube, but I just wanted to throw out that recommendation because he is really loving it and all of the series are on Kindle Unlimited. That's pretty much all of our Kindle Unlimited library right now. But um, in terms of books that I'm interested in reading, uh, my first book I'm interested in is Queenie. Um, this is by Candice Cardi Williams. I'm sure all of you have seen the Queenie cover. It is beautiful. Queenie is about Queenie Jenkins. She is a 25 year old Jamaican British woman who is living in London and it's kind of just about her life and trying to figure out who she is and why she's doing what she's doing. It's just about personal development. It's just about her being like what am I doing with my life? Why am I here? What is going on? Like just trying to be an adult you know. Those are my favorite kind of stories. I think this was on Barack Obama's hot books of like 2020 list or something like that. It's just about a woman going through life and honestly I'm here for that. I love that. It also sounds like she is she works at a newspaper where she is one of the only black women amongst her peers who are mostly white. She's trying to find her place in society and trying to figure out who she is as a woman and what she wants with her life. It's just about being a young woman in our world today which is my cup of tea. I really think I'm gonna like this. I also just love books set in Britain anyways so I'm really really excited to read this one. Next I downloaded the entire Percy Jackson series because it's all on Kindle Unlimited which I'm stoked about. I know the Percy Jackson series just got fully cast. I've never read them before and I have been encouraged to read them time and time again. Percy Jackson is like a middle grade Greek mythology inspired series. I'm sure all of you have heard of it if not have already read it. I do want to vlog that experience. I think it would be a really really fun series to read. I love middle grade in general so I have a feeling I'm really really going Going to love this but it's all on Kindle Unlimited so I downloaded it I'm gonna read it if I love it I'm probably gonna purchase the physical copies and I'm, I'm just so excited to read it before the series comes out so really really looking forward to that one so next book I have to talk about is the three body problem which is a first book in a series called the three body problem by Sixin Lu Chixin Lu I am not sure how to pronounce that. Okay, so The Three Body Problem is a epic sci-fi series. This is one of the most staple sci-fi series in sci-fi. But basically it is a first contact with aliens story. There is a huge Chinese cultural revolution going on in this book and their military is able to contact aliens. And then on Earth, everyone is like starting to form groups of like who wants to welcome the aliens who doesn't want to welcome the aliens and there's like almost like a war going on with on earth and then like obviously the aliens are coming so it sounds really really interesting it has won so many different awards it has been very highly recommended to me and i'm really really looking forward to reading this it is a first book in a three-part series so definitely want to give this one a try hopefully very soon next book i have here is one i'm super super excited about it is the final revival of opal and nev this is listed on the women's fiction 2022 long list it didn't make the short list but i've heard really really good things about it. Jack Edwards described this as a fusion between Daisy Jones and the Six and Evelyn Hugo and I'm like done there. So the final revival of Opal and Nev is basically about a band set in the 1970s and it is kind of like all about their rise to fame. They end up breaking up and then they have to get together for a one last kind of like hurrah tour. I I'm so excited to read this. Anything set in music, Hollywood, like old Hollywood, new Hollywood, reality TV, all of that I'm obsessed with. I, I literally cannot get enough of the Hollywood scene. I don't know why. I just love it, okay? I am so excited to read this. I've heard literally nothing but great things about it. I cannot believe it's on Kindle Unlimited, so go get yourself some of that, okay? Next one I have here is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This is a book I've been wanting to read for a really, really, really long time. I have Darker Shade of Magic on my May TBR, hoping, hoping to get to that this month. Okay, so Vicious is a duology written by V.E. Schwab. There are two in the series, Vicious and Vengeance. So it's about these two men in college, Victor and Eli, and basically they are doing research about near-death experiences and adrenaline, and essentially their research unlocks them to have magical powers or like extraordinary abilities. Sounds really interesting. I really love Dark Academia. I've heard so many good things about Vicious and Vengeance. 
Vengeance. Venge is it Vengeful or Vengeance? I can't remember off the top of my head. V.E. Schwab is an incredible fantasy author and her writing really is amazing. I've enjoyed every single book that I've read from her so far. So I am sure this one is going to meet those standards. Can't believe it's on Kindle Unlimited again. My last book that I am interested in reading from Kindle Unlimited is The Sword of Kaigen by M.L. Wang. This is a standalone fantasy, which you never see. It's an epic fantasy and it almost sounds like it's a crossover between like a generational family saga and like military fantasy. Katie Colson just read this and loved it. So I'm really, really interested in it. I've heard like it has a 4.45 rating on Goodreads. Basically it's about this family. Um, there is a backdrop of a war going on and it sounds like the 14 year old son in the family like needs to learn these um, like sword fighting powers. I don't know if he's going to war. It's in the setting of a backdrop of a war and there's this family who has a son who is like learning powers or something like that or like sword fighting or something. Sounds really interesting. There has been so much like hype over this and I feel like so many people are reading it right now. So I'm putting that on my TBR and really, really excited to read it. So love that. Cool. Well, I think that's all of the books that I'm interested in reading on Kindle Unlimited. I know I didn't put any romance on here and like 99% of Kindle Unlimited is romance, but that's not my genre. I'm really not into that kind of stuff. But if you are interested in, in romance, I really would recommend Kindle Unlimited. I was just scrounging and trying to find any literary fiction that I could or any like high fantasies that I was interested in. So I think this is a really good start um, for Kindle Unlimited and I'm sure there's new stuff coming on and off of it all the time. So really looking forward to reading some of these. Cannot wait for the final revival of Opal and Nev. I think that one's gonna be so good. Everything I mentioned is gonna be linked in the description, like I said. If you liked this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you wanna find out more content from me. This was kind of a very informal video, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you at least got some recommendations for Kindle Unlimited out of it. If you like this video, check out my May TBR Tinder. I talk about all the things that I'm interested in reading in May this month. I'm going to link that video right here. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Bye.